So as we've said, there's uh, five amazing women and five amazing stories to hear about. So let's get started. Um, let's, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get right into it. Um, so uh, we will not be able to hear the entire story or I won't be able to uh, introduce each person completely. So I would encourage all of you to please um, refer to our website, wfwp.us slash her story. And if Johanna, would you mind putting that in the chat as well so that um, you can look back and read the full, the full bio and also rewatch this program and hear them again and again. Um, we just did our, our, our first Her Story Awarding uh, last month, and there was just so much wisdom shared. When I watched it again, I, I got new inspirations and new insights. So yes, I, I encourage all of you to go to the website afterwards, read their full bios, and, and watch it over and over again. So our first awardee we'll be honoring today is Ms. Teresa Petaway. She is the founder and executive director of the Petaway Pursuit Foundation. Uh, she is a black mother of three premature babies. She's experienced the trauma of, she herself has experienced the trauma of early labor, teenage pregnancy, postpartum de depression, um, having a, a child in the NICU, a lack of education and perinatal resources, as well as facing systematic racism uh, during her pregnancies. And she used all, those, the, all of those experiences um, to fuel uh, founding the Petaway Pursuit Foundation in 2011. Its mission is to impact lives, one family at a time, uh, by empowering mothers with education and support throughout their perinatal uh, experience and um, uh, period, along with uh, enhancing healthy child development, father involvement, very important, um, increasing food security, access to baby essentials, and other resources. Um, as a young mom myself, I really appreciate everything that she's doing. So um, before we hear from her directly, uh, we wanted to hear a little bit uh, of a personal note from the one who, who nominated her. Uh, Ms. Jizli Dohu, who is our Women's Federation uh, Chairwoman in Philadelphia. Uh, okay. Hello. Uh, thank you so much, Katerina. Yeah. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jessly Dohu. I am currently a co-chair, one of the co-chairs of the WFWP here in Pennsylvania. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate everyone for those who are the recipient of the Her Story Award today. As we all know, our woman during this Women's History Month, I am also honored to introduce and applaud Mrs. Teresa Petaway as one of our women who have done great and tangible things in our community. Uh, first of all, I have known her uh, because of my eldest son is working with her foundation for at least, I think so for more than two years now. Uh, he is uh, executive director of a nonprofit educational organizations and serving three states, namely Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. So I consider uh, Mrs. Pitaway as a very loving woman. She's not just only a mother to her kids, but she is a mother figure, a public figure to many of the women who need cares and support in their prenatal period. So uh, he is a mother figures by mentoring women families in our county, Delaware County. And because of her traumatic, traumatic experience through raising the three premature babies gives her a novel mission as well as a vision to implement an idea that will create a foundation for a better education training course that will be used to help and raise women in during their childbirth skills and resources. Uh, within my knowledge, uh, she supported a lot of women, providing them with education, online assistance, labor support, and postpartum care. 
uh, Mrs. Teresa Pethaway have impacted so many lives in our neighborhood that I can see it, especially how she empower mothers through child education and support. Uh, for me, I nominate Mrs. Pethaway because she is a symbol and a mother figure in our community. She perceives a vision because of her call in supporting mothers. And because I believe that when you support mothers, you are supporting the humanity because all humanity come from mothers. Do you believe that, ladies? So yeah. the way I really appreciate her, that really touched my heart. She never give up fighting for the life of her premature child. This is the story that really touches my heart. And I feel that because of that, her determination, her courage, and her never giving up her love for her family, that's the way how Petaway Foundation was born. So congratulations, that all I can say. Thank you very much and more power to you ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Jisley, for sharing that. Um, yes, mother to the community. That sounds uh, so important and so needed today. So let's uh, bring up the, the award and our, our president will uh, virtually give the award and read the inscription. If we could pull that up. Thank you. It is my great honor to give the Her Story Award of the Women's Federation for World Peace USA to Mrs. Teresa Padaway on this day, March 26, 2022. We honor your exemplary commitment to providing warmth, care, knowledge, and support to mothers, mothers-to-be, and their families based on your journey of overcoming unimaginable challenges. We applaud you and your work filled with love and compassion for mo women, mothers, and your community. Congratulations, Mrs. Padaway. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, everyone, President um, uh, and Katerina, fellow honorees. I am humbled by this opportunity and honored to have my work recognized by, in this way by Gisley Dahu, the, the Women Fat Federation in World, of World Peace. My organization, as they said, was birthed out of this. And uh, my belief in God and the path that he designed for my life. See every pitfall and every hard circumstance that you conquer in your life is a piece of the puzzle. Is the piece of the puzzle or a road to the path of your success. It is what you learn and how you choose to see it that way will help you along the way. As a mother of the three premature children, my story is rooted and grounded in everything that I went through experiencing in the, Mac, the Black maternal health disparities additional families are experiencing. As they stated at the age of 15, I was a teen mom to a micro preemie, one pound nine ounces. She was whisked away in the incubator due to her severity prematurity. And she was um, in a hospital in the NICU for four months. She was hooked up to heart monitors feeding tubes and various medical devices. At the age of 15, I had to learn how to care for her. What, what each piece of equipment attached to her tiny body was used for, attend high school, maintain my grades, all while visiting her in the NICU daily. At, after the fourth month in the NICU, she was discharged. Yet, we were not far from out of the woods. Not only as a team mom, I had to quickly put all that I was taught into practice while, ba while battling to stay alive. I had to revive her um, multiple times. I attempted suicide due to these traumatic stresses of being a new mom on the top of my daughter's life being at risk. But my God, my God I didn't allow these pitfalls to let me succumb to those situations. Fast forward to my 20s, I was pregnant again with my second child, high risk circumstances for, the prior, for my prior pregnancy. I had to um, wear, a babe, wear monitors that um, would transmit to the doctors my baby's health. But that would, to some, would reassure them, but it was stress to me. So at 20 weeks, 28 weeks, I delivered that baby early. Um, at three pounds, two ounces. And at that particular time in the hospital, um, having a C-section, bonding was delayed. And despite that, I still wanted to breastfeed. So I sent in 
uh, milk that I gathered for my uh, accumulated for my baby in a container of gallon of milk. And when my husband took it in, the, the nurses stated that this um, we actually the milk was contaminated due to improper storage. And so they poured all my hard work down the that drain. Unfortunately, my path was still being made. In many, in my 30s, during my pregnancy at 20 weeks, I had to have a circlage done to keep my third child in. And that's where they stitched your service to maintain a full-term pregnancy. I was placed on bed rest. But at 32 weeks, I gave birth to my four-pound, two-ounce baby boy who was born healthy. Today, I still feel the imprint of these experiences. These stresses have a long life effect. Have, having faith in God and support is key during these sensitive periods. This support I never received. These traumatic experiences demonstrate a clear lack of support for women, especially women of color during their pregnancy, throughout their maternal health experience. Our system in the U.S. fails us at times. But God's path for my life was being revealed during that time. Through those experiences in the pitfall, I was, I was able to birth Petaway Pursuit Foundation, where we promote community awareness, education, and form effective families with high-risk pregnancies, proper care for premature infants, premature infants in five counties in Pennsylvania and um, Rhode Island and Massachusetts. We serve the community as a um, Jizzy said, we um, feed food insecurities. We do all kinds of things to make sure that the family is thriving in our communities. So therefore I say, embrace your pitfalls as it is, as it can be your pathway to success. And I thank you guys for this opportunity to serve and just for nominating me for this um, prestigious, prestigious award. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, um, Ms. Petaway. I hope everyone will write some congratulations in the chat, share some, some love and um, appreciation for, I'm sure that was only the tip of the iceberg of what, what, she, what she went through. And um, I really appreciate your, your lesson that um, to embrace our pitfalls, that you experience a lot of lack in the healthcare that you received, and but that inspired in you want, uh, wanting to not see others go through that, and providing um, where where maybe there was um, uh, an opening or a lack of uh, of, uh, of resources. So, um, yeah, we should uh, learn from our challenges. It, it depends on how we look at them and what we can learn from them. So thank you, thank you again so much. Uh, yeah, again, please share those uh, congratulatory messages. And um, yeah.